Flex conditions make it easy to scan for patterns that unfold over a span of bars on a chart. When scanning, you typically think of conditions having to be true on specific bars. With flex conditions, you can have multiple conditions that do not have to be true on specific bars. Instead, they can pass on any bars within a window of time. This makes it easy for you to conceptualize your own patterns and then scan for them. I'll show you how to do it. I want to find stocks that make a new high, then pull back below a moving average, and then make another new high. I want all this to happen within the last 30 bars. This should be simple enough, and it is using a flex condition. Let's build it. Click the Easy Scan menu button. Choose New Condition. Click Add Condition. Choose Branch of Flex. Notice the check mark that the conditions must pass in order. This will require the three conditions to pass in the order I list them. Set the flex period to 30 bars. Now, let's create the three conditions under the flex branch. Click the plus button, then choose condition. Search for price. Select new high and set the period to 100. This will find stocks making a 100 bar new high. Now I'll make a copy of this condition since we're going to use it again. Right click on the condition and choose copy. Right click on the line again and choose paste below. Now let's add our pullback condition. Click the next plus button. Then choose Condition, select Moving Average Simple. Change the period to 20. Set the condition to Below Moving Average 20 since we want stocks that are pulling back. I want this pullback condition to happen between the new highs, so I'll drag it up to the second spot. Let's take a look at the stocks. Click Apply To, choose Scan Results. This scan is set to a daily time frame, and my chart is also on a daily time frame. Now we can see these 15 items have passed in the high cap 1000. As I press the space bar, I can step through this list. Notice where each of the three conditions pass on the chart. They always pass within the last 30 days. They always pass in order, but they don't always pass on the same bars within that window. However, notice that the last condition does always have to pass on the latest bar. Let's run the scan on an hourly time frame. We'll change the chart to match. Now notice at this point, there are only three stocks in our list. To see more results, let's switch the watch list to the high cap 3000. As I space bar through the results, we see the same patterns but they happened over the previous 30 hours instead of the previous 30 days. Let's change the time frame of the scan and the chart to five minutes. Now we see the same patterns, but they unfolded over the last three hours. So flex conditions make it easy to find patterns that unfold over a span of bars in any time frame.